All right, the example I have here is not the exact example, but it's very close. So if you follow me through it, you'll be, you'll be able to make it. The reason this one's getting a hint is because it's an algebra issue, actually. Um, first of all, because these are radii, these are both the same um, size. And so the Pythagorean theorem can look a little bit like this. Um, 8 squared equals x plus 4 squared. Now, um, this isn't too bad. Um, one issue that happens is, uh, you know, people aren't too happy with something squared. But if you know what you're doing algebraically, over here you're going to get something squared. And so life simplifies out. The thing that somebody can't do is they can't go, oh, this turns into x squared plus 16. This is the very typical um, way that students who are a little rusty in their algebra come to this conclusion. And they go, these cancel, and then they're like, what happened? Uh, what do I do from here? So, uh, what do you do from there? Well, I'll tell you what you do from there. You, um, <clears throat> When you set that up and you get x squared plus 8 squared equals x plus 4 squared. Um, you got to know how to multiply these two binomials. Now some teachers teach FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. Um, it's just distribution. It's not tricky. It's these two, and then these two, and then these two, and then these two. Now in that process, you're going to get uh, a couple of terms that you didn't get if you did it the other way. Now notice there is the x squared, there is the 16, but you actually obtain a middle term which is so important. I'll let you take it from here, but I uh, just wanted to warn you that uh, when you square a binomial you do not simply get uh, the uh, the x squared and the 16. Notice that you also get uh, this pretty little boy right here in the middle. That's important. 